Yeah, <laughs> go. Go. Welcome to our new professionalism. <laughs> See, it's. I think we started and we were on silent so that people could kind of get the vibe. Is that what it was? I hope so. I'm happy says we've been doing that for a while. Oh no. Like we were supposed to know. We're not the professionals. They are. We have our our artist in residence. Okay. Well, I, so, <laughs> we were out doing, you know, Jeep things, what? and um, we just got here, yeah. normally, I'm the one who's late. you're the one who's late, and we've all been drinking, <laughs> and I, I do think it's worth making, you know, whatever we're going to make at least once ahead of time, and we didn't. Yeah, you usually do that. And I wanted to do that, so I'm doing that. But we so, just ran out of time because I feel like we got here and it just... Somebody didn't take the opportunity to set some things up. I was set up. What are you kidding me? Mm-hmm. We were listening to music. No. Live music. Oh, wow. I have um, some tomato cut. I we, have we walked cut. into a home we concert that we weren't invited to. Because we... <laughs> Yep. Yeah. The, the uh, amazing Jana Popov is right. um, currently living with us as she awaits the. Where are you? Not really rolling. No, I'm not. Have it at all. Um, she is awaiting the um, availability of her new apartment in Austin. In March. In March. In March. <laughs> oh, Jana. So yeah, it's just <laughs> a couple months yeah, of so a celebration of friendship. Exactly. It's been awesome. Yeah. We've had um, some amazing, delightful conversations in various um, accents. And we've watched all kinds of murdery shows. And we've watched some uh, swap, swap shops. shops. Yes. And we went to estate sales. Woo. We've had a lot of fun. Um, hold on. And it's only January. <laughs> Is that a little drinking, strong? Josh? Is that what I'm saying? It's pretty good. Is it good? Cause it's like... Because I've never had that. That was a big old mm. swallow there. It's pretty good. It reminds me of really cheap margaritas. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> okay. Try them. That's has an interesting flavor. Right? It's different. We can take pain again. It's so, it tastes what? smoky ish. Here, you can have this. <laughs> I've heard that. Yeah. Now once. It, it does. Um, but it also has a different, like I, there's a word I don't even have in my vocabulary for the flavor of that. Well, we'll see if anybody can come up with it later. It's the drink. It's the drink. Um, Okay. I can make another one. So. All right. Hold on. I'll make it when we're just like. I'll make one because if I don't, it's going to get all watered down. What? Oh, you want to? No, no. Okay. What's going on? <laughs> well, um, tonight we're making um, veggie quesadillas. Okay. That are going to be really yummy because I have these sweet potatoes here that I've been nibbling on. That is. And we're going to make. We're doing things that are super simple tonight, and I kind of thought when I was making our menu, when I sent it to John, I was like, yeah, this is really, really simple, but... <laughs> we managed to mess that up? <laughs> well, that, my real thought was, even though things are super simple and we take it for granted, there might be people who have never actually made these things before. Sure. And so instead of going to Taco Cabana 
for your or ATB for your pico de gallo and your guacamole uh, and taco cabana for your quesadilla. You can do it. At do you home. want this? Does anybody no, want this? I'm gonna drink wine. Uh, those two. Oh, oh, I'm just open this. <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> oh my gosh. We'll share it. Uh, so, what is it? so y'all share this share and let and come up with words for what it is. It's <laughs> alcohol. Oh, is this the one that's? <coughs> this is um, tonight's thing. So. It has some um, hallucinogenics in it. Mm, like it. No. Messy. Not yet. So. Um, yeah, so instead of going to Taco Cabana for your quesadillas, you can make them at home. So they're really, really easy. That's a good idea. Yeah, so that's what we're doing. Okay. Um, so we're making pico de gallo, and we're making uh, guacamole, and we're making the um, veggie quesadillas. Very exciting. Second. Oops. And you're making? A mezcalita. A mezcalita. Yeah. That's kind of fun to say. It is a fun to, thing to say. <laughs> and I felt like it would go with what you're making. Well, it will, yeah. And then I thought, too, this is also a really healthy meal. Um, I mean, the only thing that's so in again, that's not fix really that right super healthy out. is uh, flour tortillas, but it's not like you're going to eat 10 of them. So um, that's okay. And um, Mexican food is, as a rule, pretty healthy, unless you're eating a lot of beans with bacon grease in it. And tortillas. Well, but again, it's not like you're eating 10 of them. I mean, if you just eat a couple good. and you're okay. The, the idea is just not to overeat. Huh. Cool. Yeah. All right. I know. So. <laughs> Sounds so simple, doesn't it? <laughs> the trick. Yeah. Americans are not good at that. Uh, Americans are so bad at that because we have big old plates. We yep. have small plates at home. We only use our... Small plates at home. That's because you only have small plates. We have big plates. They're under the small plate. Next time you're over, look at our plates. We have plates that are bigger than the ones we use. Okay. And All they're right. in the cabinet. Okay. All right. So, mm. um, yep. Jana's album. Jana's album. Was that yesterday or today? No. Uh, song came I'm out so today. confused. We're I still cannot. Out. Keep track of your Facebook stuff. <laughs> I could have sworn the whole oh, thing. Uh, Carol, Carol, says hello. Okay. Carol. hello, Carol. Hello. And Mary Owens is watching. Mary. Well, never mind then. Don't oh, look Mary, for the whole I album. Oh, Mary, I love your snowman. We're working play. on the vinyl. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, we're working on the vinyl. Is that Bouncy because? Because of you. Thanks. Yeah. It's for you. So. Uh, I only want. Tell us about the song that just came out. One finder's fee. But yes, tell us about the song that came. It's called Map. Yeah. Um, By the yeah yeah yeahs. Yep. I love that song. Um, Eliza Gilkison sings with backgrounds on it. That's yeah. exciting. Um, I don't know. I mean, not just anybody can get Eliza Gilkison to sing background on their music. No, really. Who also, by Seriously. the way, has a new CD as of yesterday. Yes. Everybody Eliza's should go by. It was, it was awesome. Yeah, it's very good. River we listened to it this that. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. But. February 4th. February 4th. <laughs> and if you're not going to Red River, February 5th. Oh, no. I know. Hmm. <clears throat> awesome. We should post that somewhere. I posted uh, maps on my Insta page, right? Mm -hmm. Did I? I wasn't sure I did it right because I'm limited, uh, but I did. I did do it right. Cool. Yeah. What you doing and there? That I'm, looks like a I'm really great tool. But, but I just want to say one thing. <laughs> that we're not addressing right now. I just want right to now. say one thing about Janice's <coughs> album and songs individually. Okay. Is I... And I'm, I don't know if I said this before, but when you listen to Janice's music, or when I listen to Janice's music, I shouldn't generalize, um, you have to listen to the songs many times because she has lots and lots of words in her songs. And every word is important. Um, and you have to listen to them a few times before you hear it all because there's, they're just awesome. She's an amazing writer. So, And I would have Aww. said that even if you weren't sitting here. I know. Okay, so yes, this is an amazing tool. Our still favorite garlic pressy do. I love this thing. Yeah, it's, you should. I know. It makes cooking easy and fun. It's so fun. Cleaning up's a breeze. It adds flavor yeah. that you wouldn't normally get. It's really just textures of the meal. It's so good. So um, the first thing we're gonna do. Whoa. What? 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 You want us to keep talking? No. Okay, go ahead. I feel like there's a lot of stuff going on right now that we aren't addressing. All right. So um, just but maybe we're not gonna. Talking. Well, we didn't have time ahead of time to talk about anything. So 
I don't know what y'all have talked about. I know Nothing. what we've talked we about here. We haven't talked about anything. Okay. I didn't talk about anything without you, <laughs> except for John is having a night. Yeah, <laughs> he is. Um, we we typically oh. will. Mary asked if she could see the garlic thing. Oh, Mary. Yeah, yes. let's show it off. Okay, so Wait, I... is pan cam working? We can put it under pan cam. Well, <clears throat> it is caught. Let me get the box. Okay. Um, Let me find the box. When's the next yeah, concert? Because we typically say when that is. Well, I tell you what. Um, uh oh. No, 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 Okay, so Mary, it's called Next Trend, N E X T R E N D, Garlic Twister. Yeah. And it is available on Amazon. Hashtag cool. not okay. sponsored, but we're open. Yeah. Um, and honestly, <laughs> it is the coolest thing. So it's really cool. It fits together like this. This bottom is flat, mm -hmm. and this is roundy. So you put the garlic on the flat surface and you squish it and then you peel it and then you put your peeled garlic in here and then you twist it. Mm -hmm. That's why it's called the garlic twist. And then it's all... It's so fragrant. Oh, shoot. Hello. Slippery sometimes. <laughs> and then you have all this delicious <coughs> crushed garlic. It's amazing. And if you don't use it all, then um, you have some for later. Yep. And just put it in a little teeny tiny container and you're good to go. Yep, very cool. Awesome. Yeah, it's something you need. <laughs> yeah, get one. <clears throat> okay, so um, the next show we have is this coming Friday the 21st with um, Josh Greider, who most everybody who listens knows, and um, Bobby Hamrick. And Bobby and Josh and Drew, uh, but mostly Bobby and Josh, I think, write songs together in Nashville. Cool. And Bobby is a really great guy. We met him a couple of times at a marathon, which was super fun. And last time when we were there, we talked to him when we were on our way out about possibly him doing a house concert when he came to, if he ever got down this way. Um, because I don't think that's something he normally does. I think he normally is like a session player and a writer and a person who does lots of other things but doesn't promote his own music as much. Okay. Um, so Josh asked uh, three weeks ago or so, three or four weeks ago, um, he said that Bobby was going to be ta in town and was their room and it's like, uh, yeah. Um, so they will be here on Friday night. However, However. Um, it's going to be super cold. <coughs> That's fine. Well, it, it, it is and it isn't because it means we can't be outside. Mm. And so if we're going to be inside, it means it has to be a very limited number. Mm. So we're full. So don't show up. Don't show up. Unless, unless you, you do, because you can. Yeah. So I already have like 28 people coming. So I'm we're a done. little sorry I brought it up. I know. <laughs> but you did, and you know. But we won't be here. Where will you be? In, in a Arkansas? colder place. In Arkansas. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Doing more juice. Doing more Jeep things. That's not fun. And digging in rocks and yeah. stuff. Yeah, finding diamonds. Well, That's the hope. <laughs> I hope you find diamonds. I do too. That'd be cool. Oh. I hope you dance. Aww. Aww. <laughs> okay. okay, what are we now? <laughs> now, now we can making? we make some dinner? Now we're making. Okay. You have all sorts of stuff out here. I do. Um, what are we? I did a few things ahead of time. Not a lot, but like some really simple stuff I did ahead yeah, of time. Yeah, you did everything ahead of time. My little pig. <laughs> yeah, sweet girl. Um, all clean. All clean. Um, so we're gonna make the pico first, so it can kind of fit and hang out and okay. get yummy. And then, um, <laughs> and then we'll make the uh, guacamole. Okay. And then you can make your drink, and then we'll do the quesadillas. I think that's Great. The, the way we'll do that. All right. All right. Okay. Hey, I gotta put you down, sweet girl. <coughs> you wanna yeah. go get an apron if you're gonna join us? The, okay. Uh, you don't have to. I have some tomatoes here. What kind of tomatoes? All right. So um, some of these are Roma's and some are just some fresh tomatoes we got at H-E-B with the kind that come on the vine. And I just, you know, chopped them up. Okay. Because they, they definitely look different. Like two different kinds of tomatoes? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um... <laughs> Would you traditionally do multiple kinds of tomatoes? I 
just or did you just need your dad for okay. tomatoes that look good? So if you if you can use whatever kind just of tomatoes. Pretty you tomatoes. Want. <coughs> yeah. Okay. Just you know, pretty People red tomatoes. Different tomatoes have different flavors. Yeah, yeah. These are all pretty standard. Okay. So well, and they're then standard I have pretty. some. Oh my god. So then I have some. Um, is that sweet potato? Yes, it is sweet potato. Don't address it yet, but. Okay. <laughs> and then some pretty finely chopped red onion, and I'm gonna put maybe two heaping tablespoons. Mm-hmm. Maybe three. Okay. And then um, I'm going to take some cilantro. You don't have a chopping knife up here. Yeah, well, no, but I've got a knife good enough to use. Okay. Hey, little bit. What you doing? Oh, hello. Sweet girl. Did you have fun with your daddy on Friday when you went to work with him? Yes, she was my helper. Tell me what you did. No? Cynthia signed. Mm. Aw, she had an NDA that she had to sign, so she can't do it. <laughs> Did we go to those jobs? Did you go to the fancy people's houses? I would say. Mm. 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 Oh. Okay, so I just put some cilantro in there. It's pretty. Yeah, it, it, it is pretty because it's all the good colors. And then um, this is the juice of one lime. Why are you laughing? It's just a weird way to say it. What would you say? I don't know. This is a lime. We, we squished one lime? Yeah, I might say that. Okay. All right, so here I'm going to put in probably um, that's a like teaspoon? A, yeah, that's like a teaspoon of garlic that's in there. That's more than and that. And you don't have to use garlic in your pico. I like it. No. So. I think I... Do you hmm. put garlic in your pico? <coughs> I would, but I also wouldn't put raw onions. Really? I know you have to, and I still would out of, like, well, tradition. Why would you say you wouldn't? The texture. I'd want to find some sort of pickled onion or oh, okay. well, soft they're onion. They're going to pickle because they're going to be in here with all that they're lime not going to let it set out for... The juice of one lime. The, the juice, juice of one lime. <laughs> <laughs> I might put a little bit more in there. We're going to taste it. And then What's I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of salt on there. Like yeah. so much. Yeah. One, though. No. One. And then. No hot red pepper? Um, Did no. you put salt? or? Uh, yeah, I just put salt. Dude, I, I, sorry, I was distracted. You were distracted. What kind by of your salt? Child. How much? Kosher salt and about that much. Oh. And then I'm just going to. <laughs> I'm going to put a little bit of jalapeno, not a lot, because we've got the kids who are going to be eating. And remember this cool way I showed y'all to do jalapenos? From the outside. From the outside, where you just cut like that. Mm -hmm. And then the seeds don't get included in what you've trimmed. Otherwise, you have to do it with a spoon or something. Yeah. I yeah. mean, I just think that's so smart. Mm -hmm. No, I didn't come up with that myself. You could plant that whole thing. I could. Just have a little jalapeno plug. And Anthony did that. He cut them like this? I think so. I don't think so. so. He must have copied me. He, he did, because he definitely didn't come up with this. You think he watches? Did he say? Man. I think he should. He should. Speaking yeah. of, I do like the new season of Queer Eye really well. I, I like the one last the, night. Like, first four that came up really at good. the yeah. weekend. It did? Oh, I, I we, we watched the show. I enjoyed the show. Yeah, I like it. The hairdresser guy is a bit much for me. Oh, he makes me laugh. He's like, he's a wonderful character, but he's gone further. It's not. I can see that. Wait, the hairdresser guy. Oh, he's my favorite. Okay, yeah, but so I can see where people dresses. think he's a bit much. He no, he was always a bit no. much. Oh, okay. That's who they are. Now he's more than it's much? It's more than that. It's, I it's pushed. It. JDM is non-binary. You know, That's fine. Like, all that up. stuff is fine. And the first season, maybe even the first two seasons, didn't, like, it wasn't even a, he was there, he was doing his own thing. It's, well, too, it's more. It's more. He does a I get though, it. Right? I mean, Good for him. Like Whatever. Like so that, no, that I, came I up. We it. talked about it. I get it. it. Um, my favorite really? is Bobby. I don't I don't know. Know. Originally, Bobby. my favorite was Tan, but Bobby is absolutely my favorite now. That's a brave choice, yeah. So the last one we watched. Oh, mother. That was weird. 
the last <laughs> the last one we watched was um, I have an itch in my eye and I can't scratch it because I just oh, it's a long episode jalapeno. title. Elise, um, look her eye. Don't. don't do that. Um, okay, so I just put a little bit of that jalapeno in here. Very finely chopped. Yes, and then I'm just gonna, we're just gonna let this sit and everybody's gonna get happy in there. The tomato, the onion, the it's cilantro. beautiful. It's a very good looking. And I like the red onion because it makes it that much prettier. Mm -hmm. It's just, you know. No, it looks great. Yeah, that's nice. All right, but now I have to wash my hands. Okay. Aggressively. Yes. So that's the pico. That's it? I was in the middle of something. You were talking about pinky. You said what we Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. When we watched it, we watched the one about the guy from Canyon Lake. Now, we've lived here for a while. We don't live in Canyon Lake, we live in New Braunfels, but. I was surprised we'd never heard about that Pookie place. Pookie. Pookie. Whatever. Pookie? Clearly, we'd never heard about it. Crawfish place. Not to be confused with smoothies or... Yeah, no, not the same. That sounds... I mean, I support a crawfish place. Is that the thing that he owned or... Yeah, yeah. The guy, his wife, um, Janie or something like that. Mrs. Pookie. I don't know why it was named Pookie. Now yeah. I don't remember that. Uh -uh. Anyway, so his wife had it, and it was her idea, and she wanted to do it. Again, we're not getting paid by them for this. Um, yes, yeah, she did. And Damn he it. was sad, and you know, of course. Are you brushing and the teeth? daughter. Uh -uh. Oh my God. And um, she, the daughter, had made a promise, as had the husband, to continue the um, restaurant. Not like you Okay. So, anyway. All right, so now. What I'm gonna, what I got here. Yeah, what's going on with sweet okay, potatoes? So, I, as I said, these are vegetarian uh, quesadillas. So, <clears throat> which is fine. Like, we support that. Yeah, they're made with um, support that life sweet choice. Sweet potatoes and uh, the black beans and other stuff. But so I um, roasted these sweet potatoes earlier um, for about 25 minutes. I cut them up and I put cumin and salt and pepper on them. And they're Did you roast them really good. whole yeah. and okay. then cut no, them? No, I roasted, I cut them into these little pieces. That's pretty good. They're really good. Yeah. And then, um, so should we put, is that a card that we have so people know what we're doing? Uh, I think it's on the uh, on the. Because it should be. Yeah, it's on the recipe. Why didn't we just stop there? That's a really good sweet potato. I know, it's so good. Salt, pepper, All right, good night. and uh, olive oil. So then, we're just going to smush them up. And in a minute, when we're ready to do the quesadillas, we're going to um, you know, kind of smudge this onto the tortilla. So that's why we're squishing it. Your own okay. one recipe was how to do the, potato, the sweet potatoes in the microwave. Um, oh. It also says you can do them in the oven. If yeah. you. And well, you could do them in the microwave. Does it just um, say you could do no, this in the you. oven, or no, does it say? You how. Okay. It tells you how. All right. Okay, so I'm going to set that aside for now. What? All right. Now we're going to turn on so our skillet. Oh. And I'm going to put some a little bit of olive oil in here. It's not a lot, just a little bit. Yeah. Could you use butter? Pan oh, cans all wonky. Yeah, I can tell. Just who does this? I don't know why we let some oh, people do some, some things. <laughs> Is that better? Yeah. Okay. 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 Uh, can opener. Bottom of my can opener. It's in one of these. Oh, it might be in this. I would be here. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to put in some mild green chilies. Yeah. Um, yes. Not. Yes. What is it actually called on the can? Mild green chili? Diced green chili. Yeah. Uh, it's yeah. not like nothing. Okay. Not tomatillos. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. What is a tomatillo? Uh, a tomatillo is not a green chili. <laughs> Is a green tomato? It's like a, well, ish. No? Not exactly. All right, well, so I'm going to put a little bit of this diced uh, One of the things that's in, in Rotel? Tomatillos are not in Rotel. Huh. Diced green chilies are in Rotel. Oh, good. I'm yeah. glad we made it. 
Oh, mother. Oh, man. Do I need to stir that? Elise, be careful, Genevieve. You can't breathe when you do that. <laughs> Genevieve can't breathe anyways. Genevieve is not a good breather. All right. What? She was listening. So I've got that on a medium heat there. And <clears throat> I don't have any corn. Oh, if mom. I had corn, I would put some corn in I there. would definitely have liked some corn. Well, Supply chain. Watch it when you put your um, utensil thing near the fire. There's a kernel of truth in that. Uh... Oh, get hot. <laughs> oh. 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 oh, shucks, guys. All right, so I'm going to put some black beans in here. Your <laughs> oh. These are smooth. They're just the silkiest joke. <laughs> All in a row. Oh, can't, can't even strand it. I already did that. Oh, you did? I missed it. <sighs> it was popping. It almost sounds like a hair. <laughs> it's, I'm, the, like, I want to be excited about this, but I can't be, and so I'm in this maze of emotions. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I'm amazed. No. No, you can't no. use it twice. <laughs> Dang it. No, you can't. You can't. <laughs> you can't do... <laughs> Okay, so this I'm is why put... he doesn't have any stalkers. <laughs> Wait, what? What? This is going I far afield. No, I get the far afield. Oh my gosh. All right, so. You should be a farmer. What did Caleb call him? Where did the thing that he used to put in? All right, so we've got this um, bean nest going. Green chilies, a little bit This red, is little not a onions. thing that I would have even accidentally made. Really? Yeah. Huh. I know. Because it's going to be so yummy. It's going to be great. It's yeah. just, I, I. I, well, yeah. Mary wants to know how many mezcalitos you have had, Josh. <laughs> just the one, but. Did you it, even finish the one? It hits quick. Oh, yeah. It's good. Yeah, it is. I Did think. You uh, one? Well, you'll you get will, one eventually. In just a you know, the natives get restless. <coughs> yeah. Okay. All right. So um, we need to grate a little bit of cheese. Okay. And then I'm going to let you do your drink. Just going to say a rude thing. The natives. Yeah. <laughs> do I, where's the cheese grater? Uh, let's use the cheese grater that is here. No. Mother. Did those jalapeno roll off? What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Fino has a mind of its own. This cheese grater is enormous, but I bet it works really well. Do you want to use the not that one? No. Okay. Can somebody over there look up Pico de Gallo? How do you spell it? Pico de Gallo. G A L O or G A L L O, depending on what you're looking at. Am I doing this one? Yeah, it's Monterey Jack. Both of them? Yeah. The okay. probably copied off the recipe that we used. But can you open the presentation so I don't see the whole recipe? Okay. Now, while I'm you're doing that, that I'm going to make our super simple guacamole. Okay. Oh, there's no dessert tonight, is there? No, there's no dessert. Oh, we're leaning hard into this healthy thing. Yeah. We'll pass around the sugar bowl when we're done. All right. That's right. Mm -hmm. All right, so. Oh, that'll work because then I'll make. The drink while you're making the thing, and it'll have time to cook, and we can see. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine that little bit of planning. Going There's a little bit there. of planning. This is <laughs> okay. what John asked us to <laughs> do. <didn't> remember. <laughs> um, I'm not sure about that. Avocados should not be difficult to do. Mm -hmm. So when I'm going to do a whole like this and make guacamole, I do this. I cut a little. Grid in there. Take a spoon. Spoon. Do a scoop. Okay. And you're done. Now, some people put a lot of different things in their guacamole. Salt and pepper. Throwing cheese everywhere. Yeah. 
Um, I personally, in my guacamole, I like avocado and a little bit of lime, salt Lime's and pepper. good. And that's about it. I like more lime. Yeah, I like a tomato I mean, sometimes. And, you know, I'm okay with the tomato, but not everybody's okay with the tomato. Yeah. So you can add your own separate tomato okay. if you want to. Yes, yes? Can you play on my phone? No. Uh, no. It's in use tonight, honey. Sorry. Yeah. But thank you for asking so sweetly. Yes. <laughs> That's pretty good. You <laughs> have to have like 15 different bands. <laughs> oh, we do. We have one for our Christmas album. <laughs> we have one for our Mexican <laughs> restaurant soundtrack. <laughs> I don't know if anybody saw that. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> saw that. <laughs> We got to start working on that Christmas <laughs> album. We missed this year. Because is it still it's tragic or is this one going to be fun? Because <laughs> I was being very serious about all those ideas. You know what we did last night? We put all of our, um, we put our record albums in uh, alphabetical order. This is lime juice. You guys are the coolest. We are the coolest. Oh, it was one hot Saturday night, man. Yep. Yes? No, not yet. Oh, okay. Oh. Um. <laughs> this is so much cheese. Whoa. Oh, my God. Okay, well, it's okay because... And this, it's okay. okay. <laughs> it's, all, it's, it's all right. We can fix this. <laughs> yeah. Anything we have extra, we'll just put in a bag. That's a mountain of cheese. And then it's good because we didn't have to buy pre-shredded cheese with... Wood pulp. Oh, it just looks delicious. Because we discussed that before. Yes. There have been occasions, much too down to say, that I have bought three things. After I made. That's a big deal out of it. I just preached. I mean, I know. Bought me a shredder. No. Okay, so there we have. I mean, how much easier can you get? And if you wanted to put tomatoes, there's a little salt. If you wanted to put tomatoes, you could. You could put some garlic in there. You could put some cilantro. You could put red onion. You could do as much to your guacamole as you want. I personally like it. Less is more. Just like that. Agreed. With a little bit more lime. <laughs> yeah, that's really good. It's just fresh. The lime juice is also important for keeping it from browning, right? Yes. But if it's good enough, it won't last that long. Mm. That's typically the case. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's really good. Huh? Yeah, so don't buy your guacamole, folks. Buy avocados and make your own guacamole. That's really good. I mean, let's be fair. The H-E-B guacamole is very good. Well, yeah, but it's expensive. It's $7 or $8 now. And, and every time you go, it's going to be more. It's crazy expensive. So, I don't, I, didn't do the, I don't do the grocery shopping, so I don't know how much those... Mm avocados cost but i'm pretty sure that three $7. avocados th four of them were seven dollars okay so we only use three so what's that it's a dramatic savings <laughs> <laughs> what that is well clearly this is this is more than you would get in that little container fresh is TV. always better yeah fresh is better yeah yeah, yeah. so Not cheaper, do it yourself better. man just do it yourself all right so josh i'm gonna move all this mountain of cheese that you have there. Mm-hmm. Cool. And then start assembling a quesadilla. Oh, well, we're going to let you make your drink. Oh, and then we're going to assemble. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Drinks. Okay. We'll do that. Uh, yeah, i got to bring stuff over. Oh, no, he's bringing it over. I have my own cutting board, so that's okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, hold on. I'm going to oh, your space. Okay. All right, you stop. I can't make my camera quiver. Hmm. <laughs> that's the point. Hmm. Of that's a that's a problem, John. <laughs> Maybe we should talk about that later. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty much been explained. This is a this is a family show. <laughs> okay. All right. Over and over. No. Mezcalita. That sounds like a rapper name. 
I mean, it's got all these ingredients. We're using the shaker again, which I don't think we've used in a while. No. So, I all right. should have mixed mescalitas and wine, huh? Why not? Which I did. I finish my wine so then I can drink the mescalitas. <laughs> that's, that's exactly how that works. Mescalita before wine, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. <laughs> wine before mescalita, what? You'll be sweeta. Mm. Oh. oh, that's <laughs> way more wholesome. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna make two of these at a time. So I'm gonna be doubling things. Thanks if anyone's paying attention that. to the measurement, I guess we don't need the whole bag of limes sitting there for this, but we will in a little bit. Thanks, mom, for aggressively. Sure, I can see All that. right, look, check this out. Oh no, don't tell me there's a real worm in that. I won't. Okay, is there really? No. No, seriously, is there? No, don't look at no, it. No, I really want to know. Right? Yeah. Oh, 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 there, oh. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Back on screen. Yeah, we paid extra for that, I guess. Hold it up again. <laughs> can you? See? Are you sure? Yeah. See if we can get it. Oh, God. Mom, look at what? It. Look at it. It's little. Oh, yeah. His name we is Rufus. Oh. Well, in death we get our name, and it is Robert Paulson. Oh. So. What is that from? Uh, Fight Club. Okay. We're not going to talk about it. No. Oh, wow. You know, yeah, and it yeah. says with agave worm. Yeah, yeah. Do you think that's It's true? on the label. Do you think they just that that's have a, a, a bushel of worms and they just throw one in there? That's not the worm that came with that agave. That's how you know. What do you mean that's how you know? That's how you know what? It's mezcal? Yeah. Well, yeah, but I mean, where did that worm really come from? That's gal. There's IDs tattooed on your skin. Exactly. He's got a I serial number. I, 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 oh, God. <laughs> I want to I know. I'm going to have to research that. A little protein is always good. There, oh, it is. <laughs> Thanks, Tim. See? <laughs> a doctor. A doc he's a doctor. Tim and Mary. Hey, y'all should come down. We're going to have lots We're of having mescalitas, guys. And you can, you can enjoy the worm with us. <laughs> I mean, it's not Christmas, but you know. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. I mean, there it is. Wow. I, I'm, I, now I'm really intrigued. And I don't know anything about... Yeah, there's like these black dots everywhere. Buying mezcal, because some of the recipes talk about buying specific ones. So I don't know if I did this right. If I did it wrong, tell me. Well, or don't. Who would tell you? I picked the best... I don't know. I don't know who's watching. ...on the menu, and the wait server was like... <laughs> That's a good well, server. Yeah. What, what name did you? I, something like Jackalope or something. Like, That's cool. And they're like, no. No, no, don't, no. don't get that. <laughs> All right, so go ahead. Go, we're going to go ahead. Oh, so in, he, says check, he says check the QR code for Worm Origin. <laughs> QR code for Worm Origin? Wait a minute. Oh, there God. is no QR code. Oh, yes, there is. Wait, yeah. look, right there. Get your phone. I don't, where is it? It's probably a QR code. Yeah. All right, Jana can do it's that. It's from Awaka. What? Is that what he meant? Oh, Jim? no. Oh, Travolta. no. He knows things. He does. They travel everywhere. Touch, touch it. He's a doctor. He's we, a traveling oh, no, that doctor. Is. There it is. He's a retired traveling doctor. Is this like when we get watermelons and it has a picture of the guy that picked it? <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh, looks like no. the page is lost. Oh, what? Oh. Oh. Okay, oh. but wait. <laughs> oh, he said it was a joke. No, oh. it's not. <laughs> Like a, what's it's that got called? a hologram. A hol I almost said a picture. It's lim limited edition. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a hologram. <laughs> it's a petroglyph. Um, no, but it does. It, it does have a, a QR code. Okay, go ahead. Interesting. All right, so <laughs> one, the of drinks, <laughs> orange orange <laughs> one of these drinks has two ounces of orange juice. Oh, but you're making two. So I'm going to do four, four ounces of orange juice. Look at me go. And one and a half ounces of mezcal. So this will put us up to seven ounces of fluid. Oh, okay, yeah. There it goes. Oh, well, it can't go through that spout, right? <laughs> that means none of us are going to be lucky. Is, oh, you're lucky if you get the worm? I've heard. It's like the baby in the cake. Yeah. The almond in the rice pudding. And then we the squeeze the... <laughs> The juice of one there are lime. Days when that would be the, per the preference. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't pre juice. But maybe I should have pre juiced. I had pre juice. 
Oh, okay. Ooh. Well, how much right. do you need? One more ounce. It's one ounce sure or one lime at least an ounce in here. per. Well, I had pre-cut these, but well, that's quicker. And I have to make some more, so let's oh, just yeah. get just get it over more. with. I want to get those glasses that Jana and I bought. Oh, y'all have new glasses? Yes, um, but they're the yeah. glasses. That's there fine. Are, there aren't nearly enough glasses in the house. Yeah, we do need more. And yeah, have to be, I, don't, I haven't washed them yet. I've noticed the glass shortage when it comes over. What? These glasses are for okay. the man who Yeah, so look how awesome these are. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, 18 karat gold, mid-century highball glasses. We bought them from this house, a man's house, who died 2019. Took a while to settle his estate, apparently. Um, but they're just the coolest, aren't they? They're very cool. Yeah. So that's what Gina and Trey Are we going to use them? A, no, we'll use those. He had an entire room devoted to Gene Autry and four rooms devoted to trains. What? Yeah. Oh, so cool. many trains. That's wild. Trains of all kinds. In fact, one of those rooms was just Christmas trains. Oh. The what room? Uh, obscure TV reference. <laughs> it sounds like his whole life is pretty well engineered, though. He was on he the right track. Conducted himself well. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the audience goes wild. You did it. Yay. <laughs> All right. So, because it's a fancy drink, it gets All a rimmer. Now, it so. said in the recipe, and actually, this bottle of no time. mezcal <laughs> came with a little packet what of this. That? I think what they said that? tajine, tajiki. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yes, before? it's tagine. To explain that before. It's delicious. Okay, what that's it? what you're supposed Not to good? use. Not in a good way? Like if you're dumb. <laughs> so, but the... Talking to your mother. One of the... You said it was bad. One of the recipes I, I looked up... I said it was dumb. You said it was dumb. You, what? All right, go ahead. Is not what I said? Same. Anywho, if you... It says you can make this with two parts salt, one part chili powder, which is what I did on the other one. And it's fine. What's that? The rimmer. Two parts salt, one part chili powder? That's what it said. It's clearly not the same thing, but it worked for so this why recipe. why are you putting that tangini stuff in there? Because I wanted to show people that they had the power to do this on their own. Oh, and you are right. Because I also only had that tiny thing and it wouldn't make a whole bunch. Okay. So when you run out of your tagine, it's just chili powder and salt is this recipe. Yeah. You could put, it's kind of, it's been Those described so as pretty. smoky, so you could probably yeah. use paprika or other things if you wanted to. Well, smoked paprika. Or don't. Because not all paprika is smoky. You're right. I have some smoky paprika. I haven't shaken it yet. I've just been... No. Okay. I mean, you can. Are you going to do it for 12 seconds? Yeah. I can count to 12. <laughs> okay. That was like 11. No, I counted it to 12 once and 10 tw once. What? <laughs> <laughs> That's not... One, two, three, four, That's not how it goes. How numbers work? <laughs> And then it's obviously all obviously obviously clearly already orange <laughs> forward. So if you want to put more lime or something like that, or if you really love orange, some of the recipes had orange bitters, Angostura. Yeah. Um, but there it is. I've already had one, so I know it's good. We can hand those out. Yeah, but I'm just gonna have one if you want. And then I'm gonna make some more while you do yeah. quesadillas. Did y'all get? One? So we need one another one. But she said it was good. We didn't get the yeah. last one. Cheers. Cheers. I'll make two more. Yeah. I'll make two more. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty then. So I'm going to turn this skillet on. Do you need any more lime juice? No, probably not. Okay. All right. So I'm going to turn that skillet on. Oh, I should probably turn this skillet on. Never mind. Oh, come here, Pessie.
Oh, good. Yeah. We're authentic now. <laughs> That's a pretty good name. Welcome to the Something Something Cantina. <laughs> oh, that would be fun. We could our our cooking show could have a soundtrack, and one of the songs is "Welcome to the Something Something Cantina." Is that a song? It is about to be. Oh, okay. Jan is writing it now, <laughs> and I think by next week she'll be ready to perform. All right, so I am gonna take. I put butter on one side of that. Um, Oh, that's a thing that we didn't talk about that I wanted to talk about and say we should do. What's um, We almost had another person, another artist on, and then we didn't because life happens. Well, and I meant, I didn't, I sent a little reminder to Bo. Well, all right. But we should try to do that more because that's been fun and we yeah, stopped yeah, yeah. doing it. All right, so I'm going to take this with the butter on the one side, which is now mainly on my cutting board. And I'm going to put it right here, which is hot. My skillet's hot. And I'm going to put a little bit of this steamed green chili onion mixture. We should do black beans. This, this is black beans. No, 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 no. Like as a side dish. Because there are a lot of different ways to do them. And I like a good black beans. And I have this at about a medium heat. Right? And then I'm going to put a little bit of this mountain of cheese. Oh my god, there's a lot of cheese. That's a, I'm pretty sure you told me to do all of it. Mountain of cheese. That's got to be the start for something. Queso, mm. queso cheese. grande. Could that queso be a Montano. queso montano? That's pretty good. Okay, and then I'm gonna take this other tortilla, and I'll let people do their own pico. Oh. And then I'm gonna put this guy on top of here. Because it's not bacon. Because this is really good. <laughs> Look, two more. These are pretty. Uh-huh. <clears throat> I don't know. Mother, would you like one? Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Are you sure? Yes. I, are you going to make another one? Would you like one? I would like another okay, one. Okay, then I'll make another one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you, you take that. I guess you do have to take that. Yeah. <laughs> That's what, yeah, we're right, being so professional, Jenna. Oh. <laughs> that in there. You know, I might need to make some more green, black bean. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
It's pretty good. What? It's good, but no. it's no. That's mescaline. No, that's mescaline. That's, that's totally different. Did you say pizza cutter? Then we can oh, excuse me. put some guacamole right there and some pico. That's great. Yeah, that's awesome. Beautiful. Somebody mm. should taste it. <laughs> here, man. Well, here, wait. Oh, wait. But oh, get wait. a picture next to this. Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh. Right? Yep. That's and then, great. And then basically we're done. That's beautiful. Take a bite, Josh. <laughs> it's super hot, right? Well, I just took it off, but I think it's edible. Okay. <laughs> I'm excited. It looks really good. I'm like. Yeah. Because the cumin mm. and the sweet potato and all, I mean, it's, yeah. it's very hearty. Mm. There's no need to have. Any meat in there. It's really good. Well, there's no need, but. Well, no, but I mean, you know. It wouldn't hurt. It's really good. So I gotta put that there. Uh huh. Oh. So this is it? Well, then we're done. That's right. That's a quick episode tonight, man. Oh. It really was. Right. Yeah. All right. Thanks Bye. for watching. Everybody Bye. Everybody have fun tonight. Make your own pico. <laughs>